here on the countdown to kickoff. Brandon, thank you much, so much for joining Monday Night Football in Buffalo. It, it's it's not that often that it happens. Nah, it's not. But this is something we want to get uh, right. Want to get the tradition going, and obviously, uh, Monday Night Football comes with winning. And uh, yeah. I think the playoff appearance helped uh, this happen, and and we know that's what we want to get back to. Now, Brandon, I know. The, the game tonight is your sole focus. Thurman getting his, his jersey retired is your focus. But there's also a lot of focus from the fan base about Josh Allen and his potential availability and when it's going to happen. We haven't seen him, or at least I haven't, seen him throw a ball in practice just yet. Right. What is the most recent update you have gotten on Josh Allen as to when he might be available to your team? It's it's honestly still week to week. Okay. Um, there's, no, there's not a lot of guys that have played quarterback that have had this injury. It's more of a baseball Right. Uh, type of injury so uh, we're doing our research we're doing the, the various treatments on him but it's one of those things we're just taking it slow um, obviously he's an important asset to, to our team here we don't want to do anything to cause a setback so we're going to be very cautious uh, Josh is dying. Uh, he, he told me a while ago it killed him driving in here, seeing this atmosphere and right. not being able to play. So uh, we're having to hold him back right now. And, um, again, it's, it's still week to week. Uh, I, that's the best I can get. Uh, I promise you as soon as we can get him out there, we're definitely going to get him out. And since it is such an unusual injury by football standards, I mean, it, you almost have to wait until he's fully 100% more than anything to even get him to start throwing, right? Yeah, I mean, that's his asset, his right arm. Right. If it was his left arm, we could probably be, you know, a little looser with it, but that's, you know, he's got to have all his feeling and, and to be able to make all the throws. The, the, the feeling in there is not only for his for his strength, but also the touch and the way that ligament works. So uh, at the end of the day, we're going to follow what the doctors say. He's doing everything. He's He is, uh, you know, he's done needles. He's done everything he can yeah. to, to try and get this thing healed up, and uh, we'll get him out there once he's ready. Is there a concern at all that this will end his season? Um, not a concern right now, but okay. I can't say it won't. Uh, we're just, uh, again, we're, we're taking it week to week. Our goal is for him to get back out here this season. That's the plan. Um, but, again, we wouldn't put him out here if we thought uh, it could endanger, you know, his future. So uh, we have to be smart about that. And uh, right now our plan is to still have him play once he's ready to go this season. You brought up the term plan, and that was something you guys talked a lot about in the spring and the summer with Josh Allen, bringing him along the way that you guys deemed necessary. Was, I guess, the plan to get him in there – at some point this season, maybe it came a little bit earlier than you guys expected because out of necessity. I mean, what, what really led into the decision? And, and if you had your druthers, would he have been out there as early as he was? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's hard. We didn't have an established starter here. You know, we moved on from Tyrod, and so we brought in A.J., and then Nathan was a returner. But, you know, Nathan's still a young player, too. And, you know, it didn't work out with A.J. Uh, like we hoped it had. Uh, in a perfect world, he would have won the starting job and, right. and played a while, and then we would have seen how the season went to whether we played Josh or not. But uh, you play the hand you're dealt, and we felt like – at the end of the day, we always had to put the guy out there that we thought gave us the best chance to win each week. And that's that's honestly what's behind the decision. So uh, week two, when we played the Chargers here, we felt like Josh gave us the best chance at that time. And, and that's that will continue to be our thought process as we move forward. From an offensive perspective, I think I can kind of speak for you. It hasn't gone as well as you would you had hoped it to, especially with, I think, three games with five points and under. Yeah. Um, is that a talent issue? Is it a scheme issue? I mean, what have what can you really put your finger on the pulse with with why the offense hasn't really clicked? Yeah, I think first of all, uh, you know, a quarterback battle with three of them probably set us back a little bit. Uh, we were trying to be fair to all of them and give them, you know, give them all, a, you know, a fair shot, and it's hard. And, and so from them throwing with different guys, and and you know, obviously Josh got most of the with the threes early on, so he wasn't working with you know the Kelvins and and some of those guys that right. were running with the ones. So I think timing getting the feel um, it will add you know you look at this team we're playing tonight the Patriots Tom Brady's been you know their same system same team they've changed some parts but he's been a constant until you get a constant at that quarterback position and a, and a guy that plays at a top level you're gonna do this a little bit so that's what we're trying to get to we're not there we, we understand our problems uh, some of them you know some areas we're not as talented as we want to be uh, we knew that we were gonna take some lumps with the dead money that we have this year. and uh, But it's all part of the plan, and we're getting some young guys playing time. Hopefully that part will pay off as we move forward. A potentially big day for your team tomorrow with the trade deadline coming up. 
So LaShawn McCoy, Kelvin Benjamin, those are a couple of the names that have been floated out there. I, I think there was a report from Ian Rappaport yesterday that uh, LaShawn, uh, that you weren't really looking to move him. But uh, what, in terms of where they fit in your roster and, and the trade deadline, where does it all kind of work in here? Yeah, we're, we're honestly not shopping anybody. You know, this time, this time of the year where you're getting calls, uh, yeah. We've had calls today, guys, shopping players, asking if we're moving certain guys. So names get tossed around all the time, and it's it's really what it is. We're not looking to to uh, to move anybody. Now it's business. So yeah. if somebody makes you something you can't turn down, you have to listen, uh, and that's that's really what I call doing your due diligence. But uh, right now uh, we plan for all these guys to be here, and uh, you know Lashawn's a very good player, and, and look forward to him being here for you know the time being. One really quickly, Terrell Pryor. I think Sean said he visited. What is the status with Terrell Pryor? Yeah, he visited today. We worked him out. He had a good workout. It was, it was good to meet him, um, and and that's really where it is. He he went back home, and uh, you know we're just focused on the game right now. It was just a it was a time. It, a lot of times we do Tuesday workouts. Yeah. Um, but with the the game being today, it was easier for us to do it today, knowing all the stuff we got to get ready for Chicago starting tomorrow for next week. Good stuff. Brandon, thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Uh, now we'll send it back to Jeff and Ashley just outside the stadium, guys.